Welcome back guys, today we will learn about creating character from scratch and doing material colors, we will also create a quick UV map, then set up lights and camera for the final render, so let's jump into the tutorial without wasting time. When you open the blender, you see these things, just press A, then X, and delete it. Now we press 1 for front view, then shift A, and add a cube. In the modifier properties, we will add the subdivision surface modifier. If you want to learn more about these modifiers, then check out our this video. In subdivision surface, we change the viewport level to 3, render to 5. The render level is high because we want our render in high quality. Now press tab and go to the edit mode, then come here and enable the X-ray mode, you can also use Alt-Z for this. We press A to select all, then right click and subdivide it. Now enable the vertex selection from here and give it the shape of the torso. Every shortcut I use will be displayed here, so don't be confused. Our torso is ready, let's move on to the legs. Press the tab again, to exit the edit mode. Shift right click here, and add a cube. Then add the subdivision surface modifiers. Press S, and scale it down, we go into the edit mode by tab, then press Ctrl R, and add a loop cut, select the upper vertex, and scale it down by S. Add one more loop cut, move it down, we scale it down too. We also add a loop cut at the top and move it up. Now we press G and adjust its position. Press Shift S and choose the cursor to world origin, then go to the object menu, select the origin to cursor. We add the mirror modifier so that we don't need to create the left leg. Now we come to the arms. Here we add a cube again, then add the subdivision modifier and scale it down. In edit mode, select the top vertex and move it to the left. Select the bottom vertex and extrude it by pressing E, then press R for rotation, press G for the move and try to give it a arm shape. For the left hand, we set its origin to 3D cursor, then add the mirror modifier. Friends, to save the project press Ctrl S and save where you want. One more thing, your file is saved with the .blend extension, so it's only open with Blender. You know it is important to look at your character on every side, because at some point of time, it looks good on one side, but not on the other side. So press 3 to see its side view. Oh no! Torso is very wide, now press S and Y to scale it on Y axis. We come back to the front view. For the head we add a cube again, then add the subdivision modifier. In edit mode, press A to select all, right click and subdivide it. We press Alt Z to enable the X-ray mode. Now select the vertex and try to give it the shape of the head. Don't forget that, we press S to scale. G for move, and R for rotation, these are the basic helpful shortcuts, we use every time. In side view, we scale it down on the Y axis, and align it to center. Press 7 for the top view, and select the mid vertex, then scale it up. Now let's create the ears, again add a cube, then add the subdivision surface modifier. We scale it down, Press 3 for side view, then press SY, and scale it down on Y axis. In edit mode, press Ctrl R, to add a loop cut, then move the vertex, and give it the shape of an ear. If it is hard for you, go to Google for some reference images of the ear. On the top view, we rotate it on Z axis slightly, because our ears are not straight. To create the left ear, we will use a new method, First set its origin to 3D cursor. Then press Shift select the arm. Make sure the outline of the arm is lighter than the ear. Now in the mirror modifiers, click on this icon 
and select copy to selected. Our body is ready, let's move on to hat. Press Shift A and add a cube. Then add a subdivision surface modifier. In edit mode, we add a loop cut, move it down, and give it the shape of a hat. Now select the bottom vertex, and extrude it by pressing E, then scale it up. Again extrude it on Z axis. At last, but not least, add a loop cut on the middle. We add one more loop cut, but this time, in the middle of the circle. Let's check the top view. Hmm, I think the circle needs to be smaller. Something like this. Now we select the cap and put it on the head by pressing G. Naming layers is a good manner, just double click to rename the layer. So that later on we don't get confused about which object belongs to which part. If you right click on the collection, below you see these colors, just choose one. We will change the color to give the collection a different identity. We will click on this icon and create a new collection and change its name to clothes. Go to the material view and select all the parts. In the Material Properties, click on New, rename it to Skin, then change the base color to Skin Color. Move above and select Copy Material to select it. Now we duplicate the torso by pressing Shift D, then press M, and move it to Clothes Collection. In the Material Properties, click on Minus Icon, then click on Plus Icon, Add a new material, call it shirt, we change its color to green. Now we will do the same thing for the arms and legs. As you can see, we duplicated all the parts except head, and added a new material for the pant. In editing mode, we will delete the bottom vertex by pressing X, move it down, then add a loop cut, and scale it to the Y axis. For the arms, we will do the same thing, first remove the bottom vertex, then adjust it, so that the skin is not visible. We change the selection mode to face, right click, and select extrude face along normals. You can adjust the slaves, scale it, move and rotate it, do whatever you like. Now duplicate the shirt, then in edit mode, delete the upper vertex, change its color, to the color of the pant. And move it down, something like this. We will also change hat color to the pant color. Select duplicate face, and change its subdivision level to 5, then hide the original face. Go to edit mode, select the front faces, and come back to object mode. We will apply the subdivision surface modifier, then again go to edit mode, press P for separation, select selection. Now delete the detached object, and you left with this front face. We will remove its color, then unhide the original face object. It's time to go to the shading editor. We add a new material, then press Shift A, and add a Image Texture node, Texture Coordinate node, and last but not least, Mapping node. We also change this panel to UV Editor. Then in Edit mode, click on the UV, select Project from View. In the nodes, we connect UV to vector, vector to vector, 
then open the cute face image, you can get this image from below link. Now connect alpha to alpha. In nodes, you need press the scroll button to move. Here we connect color to color. Press A to select the UV map, then scale it up by S. In the material properties, we come down and change the blend mode to alpha clip. Now we will adjust the face position. When you are satisfied, come back to Layout Editor. Here we will move the face slightly forward on the Y axis. Our character is ready, now let's set up the lights and camera. But before that, we will select all and right click, shade smooth it. Press Shift A, add a plane. And scale it up. In Edit menu, select the edge selection, then select the edge, press E and extrude it on Z axis. Now press Ctrl B and use the mouse scroll wheel to add cuts. In object mode, right click and select the shade smooth. Now come to this corner and split the screen. We press Shift A and add a camera. In the second screen, press 0 for camera view. In camera properties, set the poops art out. Sorry, sorry. It's passe per 2, set it to 1. Change camera type to orthographic. Move the camera on Z axis and increase the orthographic amount. In the output properties, change the camera resolution to 1800 by 1200. Now let's set the camera angle. In second screen, change the viewport to render view. We will add a area light and adjust its position. In properties, change the power to 500 watt. In render properties, change the engine to cycle, device to GPU compute. Now we will add a spotlight and adjust its position. In properties, change the power to 800 watt, radius to 1.5. When you are satisfied with lighting, then again go to the render properties, change looks to medium high contrast. I think the area lights needs to be closer. Hmm, that's good. Now we will select all parts except head and scale it down, then move it up, and bring down the all parts. Something like this. So guys, our front view is good, the side is also good and here is the top view, all the views are good, now let's check the render setting. In the properties, we set the viewport sample to 50, this sample rate is only for viewport. For the final render we set it to 100, and make sure the denoise is checked. We will go to Edit Menu, then Preferences. Click on System, make sure it's on the optics. In the optics the blender will use both your CPU and GPU if you have. Now let's render it. This process will take some time according to your computer system, but for mine, it finished in approximate 10 seconds. To save the render, open the image menu, then save. Now rename your file, and click on save as image. Our today's topic is complete, if this video is useful for you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel for the future videos. To download free 3D models, check out the below link. If you have any question, please ask us on Twitter and follow us, see you in the next video, be happy.